everything. Okay. All right, we're live. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Give everybody a minute to come in. Happy Wednesday. Have a new sidekick here. I'm Dr. Terrilyn, your board certified family physician, speaker, author, and career coach. I help medical professionals make pivotal changes so that they can live a life of freedom, flexibility, and financial independence. Please follow me at all social media platforms at Dr. Terrellin. That's D R T E R R A L O N. Thank you guys for joining me on this special Wednesday night. And I have with me a new sidekick, my littlest one, Jackson. Can you say hi, Jackson? Hi. Hi. Yes. But we also have another special guest. So. I'm gonna bring her in in just a minute and I'm so, so excited because I've learned so much from her. She is an awesome, awesome naturopathic doctor and she is gonna tell us all about um, what naturopathic medicine has to offer. So without further ado, I am going to introduce you to Dr. Jamila, yay! So let's bring her in. You ready to bring her in? Sure. Sure. Is that you can be more enthusiastic? Yes. Yes. Dr. Jamila, yes. Dr. Jamila. Yes. All right. So Dr. Jamila is gonna tell us what the T is. All right. What the Let's what see. is? What the T is. Hold on, let me bring her in. Tea. All right. Hi, Dr. Jamila. Hi. Thanks for having me on. Yes. So I'm here, and this is called What's the Tea with Dr. Jamila, and I actually have my tea here, so, with my new mug that my sister brought me. Yay, that's yay, cute. Yeah, so, and we're here to learn all about naturopathic medicine, so take it away, Dr. Jamila. So first, I'm Dr. Ja Dr. Jamila. I'm a naturopathic doctor, expert in natural medicine, postpartum specialist, and best-selling author. Um, in my private practice and through my online books, I help overwhelm and exhausted new moms restore balance so they can step into motherhood with a renewed sense of confidence, energy, and joy. So <laughs> thanks for having me on. Give me just a second to share on my page before we get fully started. So fun fact for our viewers, while Dr. Jamila is sharing to her viewers, uh, Dr. Jamila and I have the same name. So my middle name is Jamila and it means beautiful. So I was like, this is a match made in hell heaven. So um, Dr. Jamila and I are accountability partners. So she keeps me on task. So this is why I thought she'd be great um, because so much of what we learn is about Western medicine, but I've learned so much in knowing her, um, just with what naturopathic medicine has to offer. And I thought, oh my gosh, um, so many of my followers need to know this as well. So I'm, um, are you, I'm going to hand it back over to Dr. Jamila because I don't want to steal her thunder. So go ahead, Dr. Jamila. Okay. All right, just a second. So let's, I guess, start off with what is naturopathic medicine? Because I know a lot of people haven't heard of it. And some people are like, natural, what? <laughs> um, and it was foreign to me initially when I first heard of it. But naturopathic medicine is a form of medicine that um, we, we believe in prevention. We believe in using natural remedies to help heal the body. We also believe that the body has an ability to heal itself, given the right environment, the right support. And ultimately, we like to get to the root cause of sort of what's going on with you um, for treatment. So one of our main things is we like to use non-invasive treatments and we use a lot of natural medicine in our treatment for patients. Awesome. So Dr. Jamila, tell us a little bit about how you got into naturopathic medicine. Um, that'd be great. I, I know I'm interested in how you got into it. Yes. So initially, um, so I've always wanted to be a doctor since I was about five years old. 
and um, I actually wanted to be a radiologist oh. <laughs> initially. Yeah, and so um, so I was actually already on the journey to be a doctor, but when I was pregnant with my first son, things sort of changed for me. I started to kind of think about things differently and think about the life that I wanted for myself, for my child, all that kind of stuff. And so I knew that there were certain health conditions that ran in my family. There was the diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and cancer, which is um, very common in my family. And so I knew that I wanted to do something different. I wanted to um, figure out a way where I could change that um, generations and not have those things passed on to me or my child. So I began to kind of do some research and try to figure out what is something that I can do differently. So with, you know, in the midst of digging and research, I learned a lot about diet and how important diet is to prevent a lot of health conditions. Had no idea that that was even possible. Then I started um, learning about natural medicine that you could use to treat the same things that medication can be used for. And that kind of blew my mind. But um, still at that time, I didn't know about a naturopathic doctor. Um, I was at a OB visit, a OBGYN visit when I was pregnant with my first child. And I was looking through a magazine and I saw an ad that said naturopathic doctor and it was talking about nutrition and uh, treating the whole person and diet and lifestyle. And it talked about natural medicine. And I was like, whoa, what is this? This is amazing. So um, I was like, well, you know what? I've got to find a naturopathic doctor because I need to know more about this. So what I ended up doing was I found a naturopathic doctor in my area. I called her up and I was like, hey, I think this is something I might want to do. Um, can I come see you? Can I come talk to you about this? And she was like, sure. So I went to her office. We talked about it. She talked about nature cure and using natural medicine and just all of um, the foundations of health and how important they were and how powerful they were. Um, she told me about a school in Arizona. And so from that conversation, I was sold. I was like, this is it. This resonated with my soul. This is what I want to do with my life. Um, and so from that point forward, I was in a career already as a biologist, quit my job, moved my husband and my two-year-old baby all the way to Arizona from Georgia to pursue my dream as a naturopathic doctor, never looked back. And here I am now, <laughs> back in Georgia uh, with my practice. So that's my story. So uh, that is such an awesome, awesome story. Um, I mean, oh gosh, I have so many questions and I don't even know where to start. Um, wow, I'm really inspired. So you, I think you touched on this a little bit and maybe for the ones, for the viewers who joined us and let me just um, say hello to a couple of people. So give me a minute. Okay. Um, okay. Oops, so I'm actually having trouble seeing them. So I'll, I'll have to just say hello collectively to everybody. And then I'm going to uh, say hello um, as soon as I can pull them up. But one thing I was thinking about was, can you, for those of us who still aren't sure, what would you say is a, a big difference between sort of that traditional, um, you know, MD and ND? What, what would you say to the average person that asked? Yeah, so um, there are some things that are uh, similar and there's some things that are different. So we also attend a four year medical school, um, naturopathic medicine or medical school. There are not as many as a allopathic medical school. So there are only six medical schools um, and most of them are like, like East Coast, West Coast. And then there's one in Illinois. So we learn the basic sciences um, the first two years. Very similar to a conventional doctor, but the second two years are very different. So we do learn, um, we do learn about medication, but we also learn about a whole lot of other tools. So we learned, um, we spent a lot of time on nutrition. We learn about a lot of um, other natural medicines like hydrotherapy, homeopathy, mind and body medicine. 
Um, we actually also learn how to do manipulations, which is very similar to chiropractors. We learn how to do that. We learn acupuncture. We learn cupping. We learn minor surgery. Um, so we have quite a bit of tools. We also learn botanical medicine, which is your herbs. Um, so we learn a lot of tools. And so our last two years are spent using natural medicine to treat our patients. So, um, it's similar in some ways, but I think one of the biggest difference is our usage of natural medicine and natural therapies for treatment. We also do IVs. The list sort of goes on and on and on. Um, so we learn all of that in school and we use those things the um, last two years of medical school. And then also for us, once you actually complete medical school, we're trained in such a way where you can go ahead and practice. Um, right when you finish medical school, if that's your choice. You can do residency. Um, it's, it's optional. It's not required because you're trained in a way where you're ready to practice once you graduate. So Now, do you have a particular area of specialty that you um, specialize in? I do. So in my practice, I focus a lot on women and children. My specialty area is um, fertility, pregnancy, and postpartum specifically. Um, that would be my most favorite niche area is postpartum. And then I also see kids. Oh, awesome. But even though that's your specialty, um, but you do see all, all types of, you, you see men as well. Very little men in my practice, but <laughs> I do see some, but mainly um, women and children. Okay, awesome. I'm just going to put your website up here and tell us a little bit more about your practice. So where are you located? Can people see you? If they have questions, can they consult you telephonically, virtually? So my practice is based in Atlanta. I have a physical location here, and I also see patients virtually. So I have patients um, all over, not just in Georgia and other states. So I do see patients all over um, as well. So I do both. Okay, awesome. And I do want to get a little plug because um, I, I lost out here for just like the two seconds, but I'm not sure, but for all of my my – HBCU alum and my Spelman alum. Did you plug that you were a Spelman grad? Because I know there are a lot of people. I did not, there. but I am definitely a Spelman grad. So <laughs> that is okay. definitely my alma mater. So, okay. yes, awesome. indeed. Awesome. I know you mentioned that you went to medical school in Arizona. So I, I just went yes. to all those. Uh, Morehouse and all those Spellhouse people knew that you went to a Spellman. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely, for sure. <laughs> for sure, definitely. Now, um, Dr. Jamila's being really, really modest because I called her in December and I was like, okay, I'm really, really stressed. And I was just going on and on and on. And so... Um, I told her, you know, I just did the, I just, you know, went down. Okay, this is what I have to do. This is what I have to get done. She's like, well, it sounds like you need X, Y, and Z. And so the bottom line was she actually prescribed um, a supplement and some tea. And I actually, um, I have to reorder, but I have that tea here. So, um, it's some herbal tea. And I'm usually not into, I'm not usually a tea person, but when I tell you that this is the most calming tea that I have ever had, it really does. So I have it almost every day and I'm actually out now and um, a supplement. So it, I, I know I was like, oh, you said I need vitamins. My mama is always saying, oh, you just need to go get vitamins. I was like, oh, fine. I'll go get a multivitamin. She was like, no. Um, and now now Jackson's all into my tea. Like he he's into my tea too. <laughs> I think it's a little hot, um, but he uh, even the, and he has he has ADHD. And so I this is another way where I actually when he's not um, when he's, a you know, a little revved up, I also share it with him, too. So um, I I also like trying out different natural things, but also the supplement. I thought, you know, vitamins were vitamins, but 
I really love the supplement that you prescribe. So I definitely want you to tell everybody about the products that you have. So if you could share that, that'd be great. Yes, definitely. So um, there's a lot of med a lot of different um, natural medicines that I offer to patients. A lot of vitamin and, and mineral supplementation, um, various uh, herbal medicines, and um, homeopathy is one of my favorites. So I actually um, use a lot of that in my practice. But currently, I'm recently launching my supplement line. So. It hasn't officially launched yet, but I will give you guys a sneak peek on some of the things that I'm offering. Um, so some of the things that are sort of beneficial and things like that, like this is my new, if you guys can see that, I don't know if you can see with the lighting. Let can me, you see that? Let me see if I can adjust at all. Let me see if I can bring it closer. Uh, nope. Hold on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Almost, almost. You may have to read it to us. Okay, so this is just my product label and I have a couple of different products um, that I'm gonna be offering on my website. This is elderberry. This is really great to support your immune system, especially right now with um, all that's going on, all this virus stuff that is going on, um, that has been going on for quite some time. But elderberry is um, something that's really great. And then, um, well, Dr. Taylor was mentioning the tea. So that's an herbal blend. And so basically that's a bunch of different herbs that's supportive for calming um, your mood, um, relaxing you, um, and decreasing a lot of stress. So it's a combination of herbs put together that you can drink on a daily basis or more than uh, multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really important. Um, and there's a variety of depending on your elements or what you have going on, a combination of herbs or vitamins is a lot of things that I kind of put together. Also formulate and, and make medicine too. So a lot of that kind of stuff. That's awesome. So I can finally see the comments. So we actually have a question. Um, so I want to say hello to Dr. Judith Francis. She actually went, we were actually, um, we went to residency together. So she's a pediatrician and she actually has a question. But before I read her question, I'm going to say hi to my uncle Marvin. I want to say hello to and, Dr. Judith um, my cousin Alicia and uh, Mark Keefe for joining with the call together. So those are the comments that I can see. But Dr. Uh, Dr. Judy wants to know what makes some vitamin or herbal supplements more effective than others. Sorry, my phone is. That's okay. Okay. So the question was what makes some vitamins. Why is this still? Hold on a second. Sorry about that. This... No, that's okay. Gotta love technology. Why is this still? Hold on. I don't know why my phone is. Sorry. Doing its own thing. Okay. So the question was, what makes some vitamins better than others? Was that the question? Yeah. What makes some vitamins or herbal supplements more effective than others? Great question. So, um, so it's really important when you're choosing certain vitamins and supplements or, you know, supplements or vitamins or herbal supplements or whatever you're choosing, that's natural medicine. It's really important to choose a high quality. And what that means is you want to be able to either go to someone who knows how to read them or um, you're looking at, when you're looking on the back, so on the front of any label of any type of vitamin or supplement, um, it can say anything on the label and it doesn't necessarily mean that's what's actually in it. So you always want to turn to the back and you want to look at what's in it and you want to look at the other ingredients. So a lot of times if it's filled with a bunch of fillers, a bunch of additives, um, a bunch of other junk outside what it's supposed to have. Those are the vitamins you want to stay away from. You definitely don't want to have um, more chemicals, food additives and things like that in a vitamin that's supposed to help you. So you want to make sure you look at the added ingredients. If there's a lot of things you don't know how to pronounce, you don't know what it is, don't put it in the body. Okay. Um, when you're looking at things like a multivitamin, um, you definitely want to make sure it has the active form of the vitamins. The active form is the only form that the body recognizes. So you want to make sure you have the active form. 
most people are like, I don't know what the active form is. Well, you definitely want to go to someone who's educated in vitamins to be able to give you high quality vitamins that will have an active form in it that won't have a bunch of junk added into it. So a lot of times when you have, for example, um, vitamins that are super red or weird colors or sometimes it can be um, gummy vitamins. It just kind of depends on where you're getting it. The other thing that's really important is where you're purchasing your vitamins. So the only place you want to purchase it is either a health food store, a naturopathic doctor. Um, you don't want to go to places that don't specialize in supplements. You know, for example, you don't want to go to like Walmart. Walmart is not known for supplements. Um, CVS, you know, drug stores, places like that. You don't want to go there to get your vitamins because the quality of vitamins is not there. They're not known for supplements. They're known for other things. You can get uh -oh. household eye for that sort of thing, but they also are a jack of all trades as well. So they have everything there, just like <laughs> Amazon or anything like that. They may be known for one thing, but they're a jack of all trades. So you want to make sure you're going to a health food store in your area. You can go to like a Sprouts, a Whole Foods. You want to go to places that are specifically known for health. Um, so those are the places you want to shop for, shop at for your vitamins or contact an naturopathic doctor in your area and they can give you some high quality vitamins. That was really, really helpful. And now that you say that the vitamins that you prescribed for me um, a couple of months ago, they, you know, uh, now that you say they did, they weren't a weird color. They were, you know, they were really bland looking. And I can definitely tell the difference because you were like, you need an adrenal supplement. I was like, what's an adrenal supplement? But I could definitely read the, you know, it was a combination, I think, of like thiamine, just everything that I did recognize and there weren't a whole lot of additives in it compared to the um, other multivitamins where I was getting a whole bunch of other stuff. They were very specific. I think it was like five or six heavily concentrated um, vitamins. So, I mean, um, 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 I, I, I've lost the word for it. Uh, um, anyway. And Okay, maybe you're talking about additives. I do want to no, just no, 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 no. They, they didn't have additives, but um, ingredients. That's the word I was looking oh, for. Oh, yes, Sorry. yes. Ingredients. So, Definitely. Um, so let me check and see if we have any more questions. So thanks for joining, Sheila. Sheila's out of Chicago. Thank you. And, oh, <laughs> Dr. Judy. <laughs> Dr. Judy said, oh, she loves Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart, no, Walmart, Walmart is great. It's just not a place where you want to buy your supplements from. <laughs> right, you can right. get your toilet tissue and your other stuff, your food items or whatever, but just don't don't get your vitamins there. She's kidding. She knows better. Uh, <laughs> Any more questions, guys? I do actually see a question on my end. Um, okay. The question is, what are your view on people regularly consuming apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar is amazing. It can help with so many things. So it is great to take on a regular basis. Um, it also serves as like a digestive enzyme. It's awesome. So I support that. <laughs> Just making sure when you're taking apple cider vinegar, you're getting high quality. You want to get the one that has the mother in it. And when I say the mother, it has um, when you are making apple cider vinegar, if you were to make it in some form or fashion, um, the original ingredients that you make it with, you want to have that in the bottle. I won't go too much into detail about that, but some really great brands for apple cider vinegar is the Bragg brand. So that's the one that I do um, like very much. That one that? is Bragg, B-R-A-G-G. So they have a really great quality apple cider vinegar. Um, I know for sure about that one. There are a lot of things on the market. Um, as long as, like I said, it's good quality. Whenever you are buying any supplement or anything you're putting in your body, you want to always turn it to the back, look at the ingredients, and you're seeing what you're putting inside your body. Um, especially, and I always say that if you can't pronounce it, you don't know what it is, then do not put it in your body. And that goes for food as well. So, okay. Um, now, a hot topic in the news, I, you know, of course, we cannot avoid COVID-19 or the coronavirus. So 
how are you helping to support your patients or what are you um, telling your patients as preventive measures? Um, if you could just take that away. Definitely. So this is the perfect time to support your immune system. This is a time to make sure your foundations of health are intact. And so what foundations of health are is for starters, you want to make sure you're eating healthy. Um, and so I know that we're all stressed and we're all overwhelmed, um, especially for all the additional hats that we're wearing. We're working at home, kids working from home, got toddlers here, like we're doing everything, right? So it is, um, it's very different right now. However, one thing that you don't want to sacrifice is your diet because it matters when it comes to your health. So you want to make sure you're staying away from the sugary sugary foods and soda and all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure your diet is healthy because if your diet's unhealthy, that can make you sick. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to make sure you're eating healthy. You want to make sure you're sleeping well. So you want to make sure you're getting, okay, um, seven to eight hours at night. You definitely um, want to make sure you're drinking enough water. That's going to be about half your body weight in ounces. So if you're 100 pounds, you need to be drinking at least 50 ounces of water. And then also you want to take supplements. Um, so some of the things that I recommend um, for supporting the immune system is going to be your vitamin C, your vitamin D, and your elderberry. So those are the foundational things that you should take to support yourself on a daily basis. Um, and then if, if you were to get sick, then there's other things you can add to the regimen. But um, foundationally, your elderberry, um, your vitamin D, and your vitamin C. Okay, so one more time for the people in the back. Vitamin D, <laughs> vitamin yes. D and elderberry. Those are the three. Vitamin D, vitamin C, and elderberry. Okay. So you can take that. Your kids can be taking that. So that is definitely a way to help to support your immune system. But also those foundations of health, you cannot get around those. You definitely got to eat healthy. You got to drink water. You got to make sure you're sleeping. Um, those things are just as important. So you want to make sure you're doing a combination of things. So it's not the time to go get the donuts and the pies and all that kind of stuff because stress on the body Mm -hmm. definitely brings um, illness in the body. So you want to make sure that you have your foundation together because an unhealthy body will be sick. So you want to make sure you're having a healthy body. Okay. Um, we have another question, and this is from Sheila out of Chicago. She wants to know, so she has shared that she has low vitamin D. And so for, our, um, for people who have low vitamin D, what, what um, brands, do so you have a favorite brand that you recommend for those with low vitamin D? Okay, so I, I offer vitamin D with my supplement line, which will be available on my website um, very soon. And so that's my website. And um, likely by next week, I will have all my supplements up there and you'll, they'll be available to purchase. So I do offer vitamin D on my website, but if your vitamin D is low, that's something that you definitely want to build up because um, vitamin D is very supportive when it comes to the immune system. So you want to sort of high dose your vitamin C to build up your immune for some time and then you want to um, bring it back down. So a maintenance dose, for example, of vitamin D is 2000 IUs. So that can come in a capsule form, that can come in a liquid form. Um, it kind of depends on the preference. I particularly prefer the liquid over the capsule. But if you're not a person, because it doesn't really taste like anything, but if you're a person that prefers to take a capsule, that's fine. You want to make sure you're getting vitamin D3. So you don't want a D2, you want to make sure it's D3, the one that you're taking. Okay, so you want to build up your vitamin D so you'll um, increase the amount uh, for a while and then you'll go back down to a maintenance dose. Awesome. This is really good information, guys. So if you haven't shared this, um, take a minute right now. We need everybody to like and share this. This is really good info. And this is not something that you'll get from your PCP. You certainly won't get it for free or without paying a copay. So I advise you guys on your page. <laughs> I agree. 
Um, so we have another. I have question. another question on on my end as okay. well. All right, and then the I have question is: Have you tried sea moss? Absolutely, sea moss is amazing. It's full of so many minerals, um, and it's actually really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely something that I like very much. Um, you can also take that. You can put it in a smoothie. You can, um, there's a variety of ways you can take it in. Um, they have tablets and capsules now that you can take it. Um, it's good stuff. It's very helpful with the minerals in the body because a lot of times, for one, if you're not eating healthy, you are mineral and vitamin deficient. Um, many medications that you may take may deplete you of different vitamins and minerals. So um, if you are nutritionally um, deficient, minerally deficient um that can cause you to have a lot of symptoms so sea moss is absolutely awesome so yes for sea moss <laughs> awesome okay dr sam says hi dr sam is hi, another dr. Sam. she's another naturopathic doctor it is an yes. honor to have dr sam yes <laughs> i love dr sam <laughs> Her. Um, she's an awesome naturopathic doctor. Um, she is. Where's Dr. Sam? In Michigan? Uh, she's in Michigan, yeah. Okay, awesome. For those of you who are in the Midwest, so Sheila, she's close to you. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Dr. Judy has another question, and that is, are there naturopathic doctors that specialize in treating kids, and are doses adjusted for kids? Yes and yes. So there are definitely naturopathic doctors that treat kids um, as well as if they do treat kids, they're very uh, well versed on how to treat the children and what the dosages are needed for children, which are different from adults. So what you need to do is you'll look for a naturopathic doctor in your area. Um, it may be a pediatric naturopathic doctor or some practices like my practice. I offer, um, I see kids as well as women. Um, so I see both in my practice. So you'll just need to kind of look up naturopathic doctors in your area. Up, up until what age do you see kids in your practice? Do you have a specific so, age? So I don't have like a specific cutoff age. Okay. So I see newborn babies, like two days old babies, um, um, all the way up to adults. So I don't necessarily have a cutoff, but I can see, like I have a couple of babies that are like two days old or like five days old. So, okay. Yeah. I, just, I know moms and babies are your favorites. <laughs> yes. That's my area. Okay. All right. Hopefully that answered your question, Dr. Judy. I'm checking two places. So, all right, okay. guys, keep the questions coming. Are you are you short on time, Dr. Jamila? I am not short on time. I was trying to see because I have, I shared it on my page. And so I was having a couple questions okay. on my end. So I'm just going to double check to make sure I've covered all the questions on my page. Let's see. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Let me see. Okay, no, I don't see any other questions. Okay. And the tea bandits have taken all my tea. My uh, <laughs> oldest son came and you, you, he, he, uh, he, came, he didn't come on camera, but he took some of my tea. Guys, so feel <laughs> free to share this. Oh, I see another question. Hold on. Something just gave up. Okay. Okay. How important is taking collagen as a supplement? What are the signs that collagen as a supplement is needed? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. There's a couple questions coming in over here. So we'll, we'll tackle one at a time. Okay. Okay. Right. So collagen is, um, is very important to take. Um, it's not something that it depends on sort of a case by case, depending on what's going on with you. Um, collagen is like in bone health, hair, skin, and nails, that kind of stuff. So it can be used for that purposes. It can be used for a variety of things, really. 
Um, it kind of depends on what you're dealing with. Um, but is it a great supplement? Yes, is um, the answer for that. And hold on a second. What is the second part of this question? Is it important? Yes. Um, okay, I think I, uh, Brittany, let me know if I answered your question. I think I may have answered it. If I didn't, um, let me know. Second question. Maybe I missed out, but I wanted to know your view on vaccinations for elderly. Now. <laughs> so. <laughs> that is a loaded question. Okay, Kristen. <laughs> um. So that is very much a loaded question. Um, I actually, my job as a physician is to um, provide you with the risks and benefits of anything that you're taking, whether it is medication, supplements, vaccines. Um, ultimately, it is the patient's choice to decide what they want to do um, on that particular matter. However, I will give you the pros and cons of <laughs> whatever it is that you bring to me, but it's not necessarily my personal views that I don't necessarily share as much. It's more of this is what it is from a physician standpoint. It's not my job to kind of give you or tell you what to do kind of thing. It's more of I give you the risk and benefits of this particular topic, and then you can make your decision that you see best for you. So hopefully that answered your question. It may not have been the answer you were looking for. <laughs> but um, that is such a loaded question. And um, you can send me a message about that if you'd like to. But um, that's my, that's kind of what I say for that. I think you answered that really well. I, I, I don't think there's a better way to answer that, especially in this particular climate. Um, it, you know, it truly is about the risk. It, it truly is the patient's choice, uh, no matter what our preferences. Um, and especially since there are there, I, I'm, I have a feeling she's probably asking about the current vaccines available right now and the ones being. Pushed. Of course. Um, but um, because she said vaccines um, for the elderly, there are lots of. Uh, I'm assuming maybe she can actually be more specific. I'm pretty sure you're talking about the COVID vaccine, Kristen. Um, you can chime in if that's what you're talking about. I'm pretty, maybe 99% sure that's what you're asking. But um, she said we can talk offline. Okay. Okay. <laughs> make you feel uncomfortable but what i was gonna say was that's probably a good idea for another um show that's that a whole loaded question yeah. and um that's definitely something that people come to my office for i um what i can say is in my practice i do see both children that are vaccinated and also children that don't children uh parents that decide not to vaccinate their children so I do see both of them in my practice. I do um, support the parent's choice. So if the parents come to me and decide not to vaccinate their children, um, I will not turn them away. I do have quite a bit of patients like that in my practice, which I have no problem supporting. So I can't say that. That's actually good news. Um, that's good information to know because um, a lot of practices, as you, as many of you parents know, um, e many pediatricians have now have a um, have a policy where if your kids, if you choose not to vaccinate your kids, then you will not be allowed to continue at that practice. So it is helpful yes. for you to know that there are practices out there that, um, and maybe that maybe you need to start looking for a naturopathic doctor in your area to see your kids if that is your choice. Um, right. And I never actually thought, so thank, thank you, because now I have somewhere to refer people who, um, who um, are thinking about not vaccinating their kids and without uh, pushing my own views. 
on them. So. Yeah, so that's 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 really that's really really important, um, and it's hard to not push your views sometimes because, especially when you are very passionate about your views. Mm-hmm. Um, but understanding as a physician, we have to kind of take ourselves out of um, okay. and put our doctor roles and our, our white coats or whatever on and um, be the best facilitator for that patient. And so that means we provide the information to them. And at the end of the day, it's the parent choice That's because right. whether or not or what ends up happening with that particular child it's going to be up to the parent whether they decide to go that route and they know the risks and benefits of going that route or they decide to take another route. Either way, I support parents. I don't necessarily have um, a simulation that you have to you have to be vaccinated to see me or, you know, I don't see any um only vaccinated kids or none vaccinated. I accept everyone in my practice. And like I said, I support the parents who decide not to vaccinate their children. They, my door is open um, for that sort of thing. So I definitely support um, that in my practice. If that is the parent choice. Um, let me see. I see another question. I think Let's see. Current times. Lying. Let me see. Current times. There are certain vaccinations I'm totally against. I am a lot skeptical on the current vaccination. Yeah. Again, loaded question there. Yeah. <laughs> loaded that? question. Um, it's not even what we're talking about tonight, really. That's like a whole conversation. But um, yeah. do your research and again, decide what is best for you and your family. But I definitely encourage um, everyone to do their research. Um, I provide research to patients, like if they want information about um, risks and benefits about whatever their decision is, I definitely provide, here's some research articles, you know, watch this documentary. Like I definitely make sure I believe in one of our principals, doctor's teacher. So I make sure that I am constantly educating my patients so they understand the decisions that they're making because it's a partnership. So I make sure that we're on the same page with your treatment plan because I don't want to come up with a treatment plan that you won't be able to implement. The idea is for us to come up with this plan that is doable for you. And so you understand that this is why you're taking this and this is why you're doing this. Or if you're making that decision, I support you, but we want to make sure that you know all about it. You're educated on um, whatever you're deciding. Yeah, um, I'm the same way. And actually, I will go so far as to to share my views, but also let um, let the patients know that is it is still their choice. So um, because I do I do understand, you know, the risk for new treatments uh, and especially with the current research out there. Um, it, it, I don't want to make this a covid discussion, but I, I, I knew it was going to come up. <laughs> but I think this is a good idea for another, you know, another another show, though, because, I mean, people want the information. People want an outlet. And I think, you know, we have faces that people trust. And so, you know, I definitely don't mind sharing, like you said, giving the information to say, here it is. And certainly people have seen on my page that I did get it. But I also have personal reasons. I have an immunocompetent compromised child so who 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 can't get it so um i get it because he can't get it so um you know that that's another reason but at the same time i do understand that there are people who will not be able to get it and who also are skeptical for very good reason and it's not without risk so i do understand that so yeah that, i mean I'll, i did I'll, I'll try to shift but i'm sorry go ahead No, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm open with it, but um, I definitely agree. You see a lot of people getting the vaccine. You see a lot of people um, basically choosing a side kind of thing and and saying, you know, I'm not going to get it. Um, And that's totally fine. Like I said, it's definitely up to you, your choice. You weigh out your risks and benefits for what is best for you and your family. And whatever that is, is fine. Um, And so that's kind of the situation. Um, I, like I said, if I'm asked my personal views, sometimes I do share them 
And I'm perfectly fine with that. I stand on what I believe and that's what it is. So, um, so. <laughs> well, I have, just, a fun question. So nice. I have a fun question to shift the conversation. Thank sure. you. Sure. I can always count on her. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to ask it. I'm going to ask it the way that she asked it. So that way you didn't think I made it up. So she said something else controversial do naturopathic doctors prescribe Mary Jane or is that allowed by, <laughs> by <Alex? laughs> Um, So naturopathic doctors do prescribe Mary Jane. Um, that is definitely something that we support. Um, depending on where you are as a naturopathic doctor. Um, another thing about naturopathic doctors, there are some, some states that are licensed, some states that are not. So in certain states that are licensed, you have a little bit more privileges. You can prescribe medication if that is your choice. Um, you can prescribe Mary Jane there. Um, so it has a lot of health benefits. It is an herb. And um, people use it for a variety of things. Um, I have seen it work uh, miracles in various health conditions. Now, do everyone use it for a health condition? Maybe not necessarily. Some people may use it for stress relief or, um, you know, it just kind of depends on, you know, what's your pleasure with that. But it is a it is a natural herb for sure. Um, one thing to caution with the Mary Jane is you want to make sure, again, with the quality of what you're getting. And so you definitely want to make sure because there are a lot of um, what is it called? Dispensaries and things like that where, you know, it's clean. So if you go to somewhere like that versus on the street where you don't know what you're getting, um, that will be the preference. So you definitely want to make sure it's clean because if you get it from, you know, Joe Blow on the street, you kind of don't know what you're getting. You kind of don't know if it's sprayed with extra chemicals or laced with something you really don't know. So that particular thing, you want to make sure that you're getting it from a clean source. Um, a lot of times, if you don't have dispensaries in your area, you can't really get it from a clean source. Um, but that would be the preference from a physician standpoint. So, so I just want to make sure I understand. Uh, so are you saying that naturopathic doctors can only prescribe marijuana in states where it's legal? Or did I get that wrong? Correct. Okay. Yes. Yes. So states that is legal and states where naturopathic doctors are licensed. Okay. Got it. So of course the states that are legal, because if it's only, if it's not legal, right. you know, nobody should kind of be subscribe or prescribing <laughs> it or using it technically. Right. Um, but there, you know, obviously there's a lot more states that they're legal and they're having dispensaries pop up, mm -hmm. uh, making millions and all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> But um, in the states that they are legal, um, naturopathic doctors can definitely uh, prescribe that. You actually go through a intake where um, they kind of determine if it is a health benefit for you mm. to actually be prescribed it. And then you get a um, you get a marijuana card where you can take that card and use it at a dispensary to purchase um any kind of product there. So there are a, a wide array of different ways that you can use it. Um, most people um, maybe just think of one way, but there are so many different ways that you can use it. There's a lot of oils, um, there's um, edibles, all kind of stuff that can be very beneficial, which is, um, like I said, I've seen it do some miracle work with a lot of health conditions that I've, um, use similar products um, back when I was in Arizona. Um, it was very beneficial with a lot of health conditions. So it's it's a process to get a card and you have to pay for it and all that kind of stuff, but then you're legit and you can go to the dispensary and get clean um, product. So that would be the most ideal way, but you know, that's my perspective. Um, let me see, I see another question here. Okay. We are taking elderberry daily. I need I need to get Iris Seamoss supplements, gummies for my children. Yeah, so um, they're actually um, supplements that actually have elderberry and sea moss 
um, tablets for kids that is already combined. Um, there's products like that out there already, or, um, or you can do them separately. So either one of those can be done. And you can actually make the gummies yourself if you go get the sea moss uh, from a good source. Always have a good source. <laughs> so um, you can actually make the gummies yourself if you feel like doing some experimental kind of thing. Um, and getting in the kitchen and making stuff, which I highly recommend. But um, so there's a lot of sources. Wherever you decide to go, make sure, again, you're going to a health food store. You're going to like a Sprouts or a Whole Foods, um, preferably probably a health food store. I don't know if um, Sprouts or because I think where you are, there's like Fresh Time. And I don't know if they have that there. Mm. Um, but there is the health food store. I know Jacob's Herb Shop is in O'Fallon. So you can try and see if they have it there. But make sure you go to a health food store, store for sure. I actually don't sell the sea moss myself, though. But I do have elderberry. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing at uh, Judy. Uh, Dr. Judy was like, make sure there's a clean store. It's not that ooey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And I did want to say, too, um, about the Mary J, um, not to get that confused with the CBD. So that's different. It's a little bit different. So some people think when they're getting CBD, they're like getting marijuana and it's totally not marijuana. <laughs> no, it's not that because most people are like, no, I don't want the CBD. It's like having marijuana. And, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, no, it's not. It's not marijuana. <laughs> it's totally different. So I just wanted to put that in there. No, that's good. I really, no, I, I think that's really important because some people think that they're getting an active ingredient. They're, they're, um, they're not. <laughs> okay. So why don't we let you go to bed? Um, <laughs> And um, I have the website if folks want to contact you. I, I'm sure there's a, a contact um, on your website. If they go to your website, a way to contact you if they have questions about any of your products. Yes. So you can visit my website. Um, you can also follow me on all social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even um, Clubhouse. I'm going to be on that starting next week. Um, I'm going to be doing a Motherhood Monday on Clubhouse. So on all social media channels, I am at Dr. Jamila ND. You can find me on any of those places. Again, the supplements will be available next week. I'll be doing an official launch on my page very soon, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of sneak peek. I got my first batch of supplements in today. Uh -huh. <laughs> So um, I just opened up my box and um, there was a lot of goodies. So um, they will be on my website next week. So you'll be able to purchase a lot of those items um, next week on my website. So you'll go to drjamilaND.com and then just go to the shop page and you'll be able to purchase anything that you need. Um, also, if you're interested in um, setting up like a 15 minute chat with me, I do offer a 15 minute consultation. So if you go to my website at the top, there's a banner. Um, you can schedule a free 15 minute consultation if you're interested in natural medicine. If you feel like that's a good fit for you, um, you can definitely schedule that. We can talk about working together and the things that I offer. Awesome. And for those of you, for, for the people who are in the metro Atlanta area, can they also schedule with you on the website? Yes. So if you're in Atlanta, again, I have a physical office here. If you are not in Atlanta, no worries. I see virtual patients as well. So you can also schedule. We can meet virtually and um, yeah, we can we can work together that way, too. So so either way is is, is fine. So. This was so awesome. I even learned a lot more. So I learned a lot through everybody's questions. So thank you everybody for joining. We'll have to do this again. Even Definitely. after I come out and I get to try some more goodies. Yes. Um, yeah. So that'll be great. 
So I don't think I have any more questions and we'll let everybody else. So everybody don't forget to share because this was really, really good info. I don't think, I mean, some of this, I didn't even learn in med school. So <laughs> right, no, seriously. Yeah. So thank so, you for having me on. We must do this again. Maybe on my page next time. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. So definitely. All right. Well, I, I'm going to close out and say thank you, everybody. And I'm going to uh, just point you to Dr. Jamila's website. And then also I'm going to put my um, just my page up here for those of you who are interested in getting some free career tips. Those of us who have had to pivot during the pandemic. So you can go here, get a free video. It's about five minutes um, for those of you who are medical professionals who need an alternative or a side gig during this time and you need to pivot. Let's say you're burned out, you're working in a clinic or in the hospital and you're looking for some other source of income, you can go there. So I will close out by saying thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. I am Dr. Tara Lynn, your board certified family physician, speaker, author, and career coach. I help medical professionals who are just looking for another way to create freedom, financial independence, and flexibility. Please follow me on all social media platforms at Dr. Terralyn, that's D-R-T-E-R-R-A-L-O-N. And thank you to my guest, Dr. Jamila, um, our America's favorite naturopathic doctor. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Not just Atlanta's, but America's naturopathic doctor. Um, and we'll see her again. So keep your, if you have more questions and um we're linked on Facebook. I'm, I'm also going to post this on my YouTube page. So, and um, also on Instagram and LinkedIn. So you'll be able to find us. And thank you guys again. We'll see you. Bye. Bye guys.